Bring in the tray with the necessary utensils on it. Place the tray in front of the brazier and the kettle. Go back to the preparation room to get the wastewater jar. Bring it with your left hand. Sit in front of the tray and place the wastewater jar on your left aligning with your knee line. Take a moment to fix your kimono and sitting position. Start folding fukusa to purify the tea caddy. Place the tea caddy slightly to the left of the original position, at about 10.30 of the tray. Purify the tea scoop. Place it down on the right of the tea bowl diagonally. Take out the tea whisk with your right hand and place it at 130 of the tray. Take out the tea linen with your right hand and place it at 3 o'clock of the tray. Hold the fukusa with your right hand and put on top of the kettle knob. Grab the knob with the fukusa and close the lid completely. Bring Fukusa in your right hand back to your lap while reaching out to the kettle with your left hand. Pour hot water into the tea bowl. While doing so, the right hand will secure the lid of the kettle using the Fukusa. Bring your right hand back to your lap while your left hand places the kettle back on the brazier. Place the fukusa on the 9 o'clock position of the tray with your right hand. Pick up the whisk with your right hand. Place the whisk gently at 3 o'clock of the tea bowl, resting the handle of the whisk against the rim of the tea bowl. Lift the whisk up as if your right thumb is being pulled from the ceiling. Turn the whisk towards you as you lower it down, Checking the tines of the whisk to make sure there are no broken tines. Rinse the whisk inside the tea bowl back and forth for about 5 to 6 times. After rinsing, make a circular motion inside the tea bowl and take the whisk out from 6 o'clock position. Place it down at 130 position of the tray. Lift the tea bowl with your right hand. Transfer to your left hand and discard the water into the wastewater jar with your left hand. Start wiping the tea bowl. Wipe the inside of the tea bowl. Hold the tea bowl with your right hand at its 3 o'clock position and place it down on the tray. Pick up the tea scoop with your right hand. Slide your left hand from your lap down to touch the tatami mat and say to the guest Okashi wo dozo, or please have your sweets. Take the tea caddy with your left hand. Bring it to 9 o'clock in the tea bowl. Hold the tea scoop deeper in your right hand and allow the thumb, index finger, and middle finger to open the lid of the tea caddy. Place the lid where the tea scoop was, leaning against the rim of the tray. Adjust holding the tea scoop and scoop green tea twice between 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock of the tea caddy, without destroying the mountain shape of the green tea. 
adjust holding the tea scoop and lightly knock on the rim of the tea bowl to get rid of the excess green tea powder on the tea scoop. Close the lid. Place the tea caddy down on the tray. Place the tea scoop down on the tray. Pick up the fukusa with your right hand and bring your right hand to your lap. Reach out to the kettle with your left hand and bring the kettle closer to the tea bowl while your right hand turns the fukusa over on the lid of the kettle. Pour hot water into the tea bowl. Bring your right hand back to your lap while your left hand places the kettle back on the brazier. Place the fukusa back on the tray at 9 o'clock. Take the whisk with your right hand and place your left hand on the rim of the tea bowl to support. Mix the green tea powder and hot water with your right hand in a rapid back and forth motion using the whisk. Mix until there is froth on the surface of the green tea. When you are done whisking, make a circular motion and take the whisk out. Pick up the tea bowl with your right hand and place it on your left palm. Turn the tea bowl twice clockwise to make the center of the tea bowl face towards the guest. Serve. Pick up the tea bowl which is returned to you with your right hand. Place the tea bowl on your left palm in the center of your body, and glance inside for a second. Place the tea bowl down on the tray with your right hand. Pick up the fukusa from the right side with your right hand, move your right hand to your lap. Take the kettle with your left hand and cover the lid with your fukusa. Pour hot water into the tea bowl. Place the kettle back on the brazier and the fukusa back on the tray. Take the tea bowl with your right hand, transfer it to your left hand, and discard the water. At this point, your main guest will ask you to stop making tea by saying Oshimai Kudasai or please close. Acknowledge the main guest's request by nodding, and touching the tatami mat with the tips of your right hand while still holding the tea bowl in your left hand. Place the tea bowl down with your right hand back on the tray and with both your hands touching the tatami mat, say Oshimaya Tashimasu or I will close. Pour some more hot water into the tea bowl. Take the whisk with your right hand and rinse inside the tea bowl a few times. The left hand should be securing the tea bowl from the top. Lift the tea whisk up once to check the times and place it back at the 3 o'clock position. Adjust holding the grip and make a circular motion inside to take it out from the tea bowl. Place the whisk on the tray. Pick up the tea bowl with your right hand. Transfer it to your left hand and discard the hot water into the wastewater jar. Place the linen with your right hand inside the tea bowl while you still hold the tea bowl in your left hand. Place the tea bowl back on the tray with your right hand. Place the tea whisk back inside the tea bowl. Pick up the tea scoop with your right hand, then hold it deeper in your hand, Allowing your right thumb, index finger, and middle finger to pick up the fukusa from the tray. Fold the fukusa to purify the tea scoop while your right hand is still holding the tea scoop. Purify by folding the fukusa over the tea scoop. Place the tea scoop back on the tea bowl facing down. Move the tea caddy from 10.30 position back to 12 o'clock position with your right hand. 
Bring the fuku saw in your left hand over to the wastewater jar, and pad with your right hand twice in order to get rid of the green tea powder on the fuku saw. Hold the fuku saw with your right hand and cover the lid of the kettle. Open the other side of the lid slightly by shifting the lid towards you. Unfold the fuku saw and put it back on your obi belt. Move your knees to shift your body to the left and grab the wastewater jar with your left hand. Stand up with your left leg and turn away from your guest to bring the wastewater jar back to the preparation room. Come back to fetch the tray, holding it with both hands. Turn towards the guests at the entrance and place the tray where you placed it at the beginning of the tea ceremony. Exchange the most formal shinbo with your guests.